morning everybody welcome back to the channel this morning i'm standing in a field of winter beans it's a conventional field follows uh, two years of wheat as you can see the beans are beginning to emerge uh, this was drilled with the clades and drill leaves a quite rough unconsolidated finish we would like to have rolled this. You can get a build up of slugs in a direct drilling system when you're growing beans. So it's something to watch out for. Uh, can be com uh, removed with the introduction of rolls, but it's not something we suffered from here so far, but something we'll certainly keep an eye on. This week, we also did some ergot cleaning. Thanks to CYO for their visit. Unfortunately, it's becoming increasingly an issue especially in the regenerative system where you're growing continuous spring wheat following over winter cover crops so i just want to touch on some research done by the ahdb into ergot and see if there's any lessons we can learn ergot is a disease caused by the fungus clavi septis pleurourea really catchy the word also describes the black fungal body that replaces the grain in the ear. Ergots are highly poisonous to man and animals, although they have some medical uses. Ergotism is the name for the severe symptoms affecting humans or animals that have eaten ergot alkaloid, which is ergot containing grains. The Hospital Brothers of St. Anthony, highly appropriate for me I think, were an order of monks established in 1095, specialising in the treatment of ergot victims. The common name for ergotism is St. Anthony's Fire, in reference to the order of monks and the severe burning sensation in the limbs, which is one of the symptoms. There are two types of ergotism. The first is characterised by muscle spasms, fever and hallucinations. This is caused by the stimulation of the central nervous system caused by the alkaloids. And the second type is marked by violent burning and shooting pain in the fingers and toes, sometimes leading to gangrene. Ergot does not contain LSD, but instead contains Listeric Acid. Listeric Acid is a precursor for the synthesis of LSD. Human poisoning due to the consumption of rye bread made from an ergot-infected grain was common in Europe in the Middle Ages. In 944, a massive outbreak of ergotism caused 40,000 deaths in France and in 1778 another outbreak in France was responsible for the 8,000 deaths. As a result, buyers have a zero tolerance for ergot in all wheat. Ergot is therefore financially serious. All cereal crops are at risk from infection for a few days during flowering particularly ones with open flowers, e.g. triticale, rye. In addition, spring barley and especially spring wheat seem to be susceptible. Ergot is relatively common in wild grasses throughout the UK and the disease is spread by spores which infect the ovaries of grass and cereal flowers. Susceptibility decreases rapidly after pollination. Initial infection by airborne ascospores produced by ergot in soil results in sticky exudate known as honeydew, which contains numerous spores. These are spread by physical contact between infected and healthy ears and possibly by insects too and are responsible for secondary infects infestation. Black grass is an important source of ergot because it starts to flower several weeks 
before the wheat and produces honeydew when the wheat is flowering. Cool, wet conditions during flowering favour infection. The predecessor of the AHDB, the HGCA, initially funded a review of laboratory tests of fungicides on ergot growth, followed by field trials. The fungicide sprays were applied to winter rye and to winter and spring wheat at various growth stages from late boot to early flowering. Although some fungicides showed activity against ergot in glasshouse and laboratory tests, they were ineffective in field trials. As it is not possible to achieve relative control of ergot with fungicides, and none are registered for this use, it is essential to integrate a range of other hygiene and cultural measures to avoid the disease. Ergots survive for only one season in the soil. A break from cereal should give good control, providing grass weeds are also controlled. Careful ploughing an anathema to direct drillers, would help bury ergots to at least 5 centimetres. So in summary, do not sow contaminated seed. Clean farm sage seed thoroughly to remove any ergot. Where ergot is often a problem, avoid growing susceptible crops and varieties. Control grass weeds that may act as hosts, e.g. black grass and annual meadow grass. Harvest heavy infested areas, for example the headlands and tram lines, separately to avoid contaminating large bulks of grain. I should not be surprised that rotation is the solution to ergot. My issue is that in a situation where I'm using overwinter cover crops followed by low input spring wheat in order to help my gross margins, I've become dependent on continuous spring root wheat in my rotation. And this leads to a serious challenge when we're suffering considerable ergot infections. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live. Thank you very much. Bye.